Hi there, this is Teresa from Teresa's Crochet Shop. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make your own plush ray. Now, the fun part about these little rays is that they only take about 45 minutes to make, they use very little yarn, and they have a little smile on the bottom. To make these plush rays, I used a number six or super bulky weight yarn in a main color for the body. I'm using blue, I've also used gray, and a color for the belly. Now you could use any weight of yarn and the pattern will work just as well. But for this video, I'm using super bulky weight yarn with a five millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of 12 millimeter black safety eyes, a yarn needle, a strand of black embroidery floss for the smile, some scissors of course, and then a very small amount of stuffing for stuffing the middle of the body of the ray. The crochet stitches you will use in this tutorial are the chain stitch, the single crochet stitch, the slip stitch, and the increased stitch, which I will show you how to do in the video. You can find a full materials list in the description below with more details about the supplies that I used. You can also find a written pattern for sale in my website. I will link to that in the description if you prefer to follow along with that format. Now let's get started. I will start by making the top portion of the raised body. I'm using blue yarn for that and my five millimeter crochet hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by attaching the yarn to my crochet hook with a slip knot. And then for round one, I'm going to chain four. And then I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna work back in those chains. But let's start by chaining four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna turn and working back in those chain stitches, I'm gonna start by single crocheting one And then I'm going to do an increased stitch in the next chain stitch. An increased stitch simply means that you do two single crochet stitches together into the same stitch. So I've just done one single crochet into that stitch and now going into that same chain stitch I'm going to do a second single crochet stitch and then I'm going to do a single crochet stitch in the last chain stitch. I now have four stitches across and that's the end of row one. For row two I'm going to chain one and then turn and working back the way I came, I'm gonna do an increased stitch in each stitch across. That's two stitches in each stitch across for a total of eight stitches in the row. I finished row two and I have eight stitches across. For row three, I'm gonna chain one and then turn and working back the way I came, I'm gonna start with an increased stitch, then I'm gonna single crochet six, and then I'm gonna end with an increased stitch for a total of 10 stitches in the row. I now have 10 stitches across, and for row four, I'm gonna chain one, and then turn and working back the way I came, I'm gonna start with an increased stitch and then I'm gonna single crochet eight and then I'm gonna end with an increased stitch for a total of 12 stitches in the row. I now have 12 stitches across and for row five, I'm going to chain one and then I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna start with an increased stitch and then I'm gonna single crochet 10 and then I'm gonna end with an increased stitch for a total of 14 stitches in the row. There are now 14 stitches across and for row six, I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna start with an increased stitch and then single crochet 12 and then end with an increased stitch for a total of 16 stitches in the row.
There are now 16 stitches across, and for row seven, I'm gonna chain one and turn, and then I'm gonna do an increased stitch in the first stitch, and then I'm gonna single crochet 14 across and end with an increased stitch for a total of 18 stitches in the row. There are now 18 stitches across, and for row eight, I'm gonna chain one and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 18 stitches in the row. Okay, I finished row eight. I'm gonna go ahead and fasten off and I'm gonna leave just a short yarn tail for weaving inside the body later on. Now there are 18 stitches across this edge here. I will be crocheting the little head part of the ray on the middle six stitches. So you'll have six stitches on this side, six stitches on this side, and the little head will be six stitches across in the middle. So I have attached my yarn to my crochet hook again, and then I'm gonna count six stitches over and start in the seventh stitch across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna stick my crochet hook in that stitch and then I'm gonna do a single crochet. And pull those yarn tails tight. And then I'm gonna single crochet five more. So six stitches across for this little row. Okay, and then for the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn and single crochet sti six stitches across. This top piece is now finished, but I'm gonna wait to fasten off because I'm gonna use this working yarn later to crochet a border around the two pieces. So now it's time to insert the safety eyes. So I'm gonna insert the safety eye between the last two rows of the ray that I just made. And they're gonna be about three stitches apart. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the backs onto the eyes. So now you will go back to the beginning of the instructions for making this top piece of the ray, and you will repeat them exactly the same way to make the bottom piece of the ray. The only difference will be that instead of waiting to fasten off, you will go ahead and fasten off at the end of row 10. Now it's time to crochet these two pieces together. So line them up so that they match, and then insert your crochet hook into this stitch at the end of row 10 and then insert it into the next stitch along the ray. Now, if the back of the eye gets in your way, just use your fingers to slightly move the eye over so that you can get your crochet hook in there next to the eye. So first put it through a stitch in the top piece and then put it through the matching stitch of the bottom piece and do a single crochet stitch. And that is how you will crochet these two pieces together. You will be single crocheting a border all along these two pieces to crochet the two pieces together. So just keep continuing to single crochet a border around these two pieces, but don't finish crocheting. Leave the last 10 stitches or so unworked because then you will sew on the smile. Okay, so now I'm almost back to where I started, but I'm gonna wait to finish crocheting the two pieces together. And I'm gonna weave in some of my ends and I'm gonna add some stuffing and I'm gonna sew on the smile. So let me start by weaving in some of these ends to get them out of my way before I add the stuffing.
I finished weaving in all the ends and then I have these last two that I haven't gotten to yet but I'm just going to tuck them inside the body and then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of stuffing to the just the center of the body so I'm going to leave the two wings of the ray flat and I'm going to add this stuffing just along here and I'm really going to leave the face flat too so it's just a teeny tiny bit of stuffing there in the middle of the body. You don't want it to be too fat because rays are really pretty flat. And then it's time to sew on the smile. So grab your yarn needle and your strand of black embroidery floss and thread it onto your needle. And you don't need to knot the end because you'll be securing the two ends with a knot after you sew on the smile. And then going through the opening here, I'm gonna bring the embroidery floss out between those last two rows that I crocheted at the end of the body and I'm going to make one horizontal stitch and then I'm going to bring the floss up one round lower, make sure it's centered and then grab that initial stitch and bring this floss down to form a V. If you're happy with how it looks and it looks straight to you, then you can secure your embroidery floss by tying these two ends in a knot and then tucking them inside the body. And then you can finish crocheting the ray closed. Once again, when I get to the eye, it's hard to get my crochet hook in there. So I'm just gonna slide this eye over and then I'm able to stick my crochet hook through the stitch beside the eye. After I finish sewing all the way around the ray, I'm going to join to the, my first border stitch with a slip knot. And then I'm going to fasten off, leaving just a short yarn tail for weaving in. And then I'm going to go ahead and weave that yarn tail inside the body. Now I want to show you something cool here about when you have one of these messy stitches here, this plush yarn is so forgiving. So you can just work with it and push that white stitch down and bring the blue stitch over and voila, that messy stitch is gone. Next, we will be crocheting the tail for the stingray. Now, the nice thing about this tail is that I'm going to attach it directly to the back of the raised body so there's no sewing involved. So after attaching my yarn to my crochet hook I'm going to find the middle stitch at the back of the ray and I'm going to do a slip stitch to attach my yarn to the raised body. And then I'm going to chain nine. Now working back in those nine chain stitches, I'm going to do eight slip stitches. The reason I'm doing slip stitches and not single crochet stitches is that a single crochet stitch makes it more curly while these slip stitches make it more straight. Once I've done eight slip stitches and I'm back to the body, I'm going to do one final slip stitch in the body to join the tail more securely to the body. And then I'm going to fasten off and leave a short yarn tail for weaving in. And then you can go ahead and weave in those last two yarn ends from the tail. Oops, got the wrong one. There it is. 
So I'm going to go ahead and weave these two yarn tails inside the raised body. Now that the yarn tail is finished and all the ends are woven in, it's time to do the last step, which is to sew the white spots on the top of the body. So I'm going to thread a strand of white yarn onto my yarn needle, and then I'm going to bring that up through the bottom of the body and out through the top, leaving a little bit extra on the bottom here for securing with a knot later. And then I'm just gonna sew little stitches all over the top of the body. I did about 10 or 11 stitches across the body. You don't wanna do too many and you don't wanna do too few, but they also can just be random and you can make them how you like. Once I'm happy with the number of spots on the top, I'm going to bring my yarn back down to the bottom and then out at the same place where the beginning tail of this white strand is. And then I'm gonna tie these two ends in a knot. And I'm gonna weave this inside the body. Let's see if I can thread two plush pieces of yarn onto this needle at the same time. I did it. Okay. And then just weave these inside the body. Trim the ends and your ray is finished. Time to clean up the fuzz. So just give me a minute for that. Once you've finished cleaning up all the little fuzzies, your ray is finished and you can bend the wings up a little bit on either side and then it's all done. Thank you so much for joining me in making your own little plush ray. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions in the comments below and happy crocheting.